Meanwhile, Montagan City Manager Pai Swim yesterday described Mr. Duma's accusations as uncalled for. Mr. Pim said Mr. Duma should show some respect to senior statesmen and leaders like Pius Winti. He said Mr. Duma should verify the information he received before making accusations out in public. Again, Jack Tame reports from Mount Hagen. Mr. Pim, in a press conference, stressed that under the Public Finance Act, his administration is not obliged to report to Minister Duma's office, but to the office of the provincial treasury. And according to the Financial Management Act, we are not answerable to the governor or the member, the member of parliament. We are answerable to treasury. When we are answerable to the audit. Yet the National Housing Corporation has paid the Mount Hagen Urban Council a total of 16 million kina in 2012 when he was not the city manager at that time. He further revealed that the Urban Council was paid only 8 million and 300,000 kina. The other half was paid for the legal bills and other expenses. The board made a decision to give half the money to the lawyer. And we have bought, bought resolutions here. And I came later. That was done before another manager. Pim added, if Minister Duma wants the reports, then he may consult the provincial treasury. Meanwhile, Mr. Pim slammed the comments of Mr. Duma for degrading his identity and of the former Prime Minister and Governor of Western Ireland, Spice Wengti, in front of the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and other members of Parliament. It is improper and without substantive evidence. When NBC TV contacted Pais Wengti, he said currently all financial records of the Western Islands Provincial Government are being audited starting from 2012 up. However, he questioned Duma, a traitor member for I Can Open, what impact project has he done for his people? Jack Tame, NBC National News, Mount Hagen.